Hi, my name's Tom, and today I'm going to be showing you how to share your Outlook calendar with your colleagues. I'll be covering both the online web portal and the Outlook client. First off, we're going to go into the Outlook client, which can be found either via your taskbar or by searching Outlook in the start menu. As this is already open, I'll be going through the taskbar. Once you've loaded up your Outlook profile, go down to the calendars in the left. Find the calendar you wish to share. In this case, mine is Calendar. Right click on this calendar and go to Sharing Permissions. This will bring you up this window. From here, you can add a user. I've already got Test User added, so I'm going to remove that. Click Add User. From your global address list, select the user that you wish to share this with. Click Add on the bottom, and once the name shows in here, you can then click OK. When they show in this list, you can change the permissions with this list below. In this case, I just want them to be able to view the details. However, edit and delegate um, will allow basically full access to the calendar. Once you've finished changing this, click Apply, and then click OK. In this case, the calendar is now being shared. Now on the web portal, if you open up a web browser, go to outlook.office.com. Sign in with your email address and password, and from there you should be prompted with this screen. Go over to the calendar on the left, let this load. And once this is loaded, you then have the same, same sort of list, in which case we want to share calendar. So you can either right click on this, or select the three dots on the right, and go to sharing and permissions. Once you have this window, it will show again people that already have access. In this case, I'm going to delete the test user that we just added. And from here, you can search anyone on your company tenancy. So in this case, we've got the test admin, who I'm signed in as, or test user, who we wish to share it with. Once the email address is validated, you can then change again the permissions, which looks similar to the Outlook client. Once you've selected what you want, click on Share. And that will then give the user permission to your Outlook calendar. If you have any problems with this, give us a call on 01724 400 304 and either myself or any of the guys on the desk will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.